Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to skin this mod here on the screen. The Mac 1050 Lite Pneumatic Trailer Mod by me, DNA Transport. The mod at the time that I'm recording this is not available to the public yet, but I need to record this beforehand so that I can leave the link to this video in the mod description uh, down here. So if you are here from somewhere other than my Facebook page or from the mod description and aren't sure if this mod is available to the public at the time you're watching this, you can head on over to my Facebook page linked below and find a pinned post that has all my mods. And if it's not done, it'll be under the work in progress mods title. And if it is done, it will be under the completed mods title. So now let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. First, you'll need to download 7-zip or some other kind of zip file opener. Um, but I recommend using 7-zip because that's the one that I use, so that's the only one that I can confirm will work. Um, and so I will leave a link down below and then it will bring you to this page. And you would go to here, one of these download links. These are the most recent. Uh, and download whichever one. So if you got a 32-bit Windows system, you download this one. You got a 64-bit, you download this one, so on and so forth. Just download the one that uh, you need. And then you will also need some kind of photo editing editing software like Photoshop. Photoshop is what I use. However, that costs money. Um, so if you do not have money right now to buy something like Photoshop or just uh, would rather test your abilities before getting Photoshop by using some kind of free software, you can go ahead and head over to getpaint.net. I will also leave the link to this one down below and then download this program. And since this program is free, I will be doing my tutorial today through paint.net. Again though, if you know how to use Photoshop, I definitely would recommend using Photoshop more than paint.net. All right, so now that you have 7-zip and paint.net downloaded, what I recommend that you do is take the mod, obviously yours might not look like this, might be a different version. Actually, it will definitely be a different version because my first public version isn't going to be point two. but either way, take the mod. Uh, I recommend moving it to your desktop out of your American Truck Simulator mod folder. And then what you're going to do is right click and then say 7-zip and say open archive. And then I recommend putting this as a half screen here. And then what you're going to do is inside your mod folder, create a new folder. And uh, whatever it was, like for me right now, it says Mac Pneumatic Tanker version 0.2 or whatever. Um, I am going to type type in Mac Pneumatic Tanker version and then whatever it was so that you can keep track of what version you're on. Hit enter and then hit enter again to go into the folder. And then I would just drag and drop all of this into there. It'll take a minute to copy all over. Boom. There you go. So now you can exit out of this. And then you can actually go ahead and delete this one. You no longer need it. The mod will work just as a regular folder. So delete that one. And then what you're going to do is you are going to open up paint.net. Drag it over to here. You've got the templates in here, right? But what you can also do is go in here to trailer uh, vehicle, trailer underscore owned, mac.drybulk, and then go to the decal folder. And then you've got these custom 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 DDS. You can open up one of these. If you double click on it, it's going to open up in paint.net, or at least it should. should. Um, but if it doesn't, you can say file, I'll open, and then go to documents, American Truck Simulator, mod, and then go to Mac Pneumatic Tanker version point two, and go back to where you just were. So decal, and then see, you'll be able to open up, you know, whichever one you want. Custom one, two, three, four, or five. And then, now you've got the template. So, let's say I want to put something on top of this template. I would type out, like, whatever I want it to be. Um, so, I'll just type something completely random. I'll just have it say hello and then I'm gonna drag it right into the middle kind of obviously you can do whatever you want um, you can do a logo or you know whatever but I'm just gonna keep it simple and do a text 
Um, I should mention real quick, these two are not lined up perfectly. Uh, that was my mistake. However, I just, it's, I don't really have the time to fix it, nor is it really worth fixing it because then I would have to do, redo every single skin. Um, so these two are not lined up. As you can see, this line goes up here. So just be aware of that when you're working on this. And then also with the front, um, if I typed out hello here and just did it like this, it would kind of stretch it out a little bit. So what you could do is uh, hit M. Oops, sorry. Uh, click on something else that's not text. Then type M. Sorry, I haven't used uh, I haven't used Paint.net in a while. I'm my apologies. You will use the select tool and then hit M, and then that allows you to resize it and just squish it down a little bit. So it's gonna look kind of squished on here, but then when you open it up in the game, it's gonna look normal or normal-ish, and you can squish it down more or less until you get it to how you like. Um, but anyways, so you do that, and then you're going to uncheck the background. Now it's just going to look like this. Uh, Control D will let you deselect that, by the way. So it'll look like this. And then you just say File, Save As, and then you click .dds, and then you leave it as it is and say Save. It'll say it already exists, and do you want to replace it? You say Yes, OK, Flatten, and then open up your game, head on over to the trailer, customize configuration, you go into the customization options, decal, and then you save that one as custom one. So you click on custom one, and there you go. It says hello on the sides and on the front. Simple as that. I try to make it as absolutely as easy as possible to skin this trailer. That's all you gotta do. Then if you want to replace the name so that it no longer says custom one and template. I'm going to show you how to do that now. If that's not something you care about, that's it. You're done with the video. You know how to skin this trailer now. If you have any further questions, you can uh, comment them down below or head on over to my Facebook page and message me directly through the DNA Transport Facebook page or uh, through Instagram. However it is that you feel most comfortable asking me questions, go ahead and message me and I will help you out. Alright, and if you are continuing on, you are going to have to download another program. I will leave the link down below. Whatever the most recent version is will be at the top here. Click on it, click download, and it will pop up down at the bottom. I just did it to test, and obviously that's why I have two now. But then you just click on this and install it, and uh, that is what you need. And I had forgotten to record this part, so this transition is going to be a little weird, but uh, we're going to go back to that part and then uh, that's what you this is what you need to open the .sii files so in this next part you will see me uh, right click on the .sii file and then I will click on edit with notepad and then it'll open up uh, that's how I did it that's how I got notepad plus plus and all that stuff so yeah on on with the video so if you are if you are still here we are back to the screen that we were just on outside of American Truck Simulator you're going to go back to the main folder here of the uh, that I just showed you how to make. You're going to go into def, vehicle, trailer owned, mac.drybulk, accessory, decal, and then you got all the .sii files here. You're going to go into edit with notepad for custom one. Let's say you want it to now say hello. You're going to name it hello. Then you are going to hit control S and save it and then control W and close it. Then you're going to go back again, and you are going to go back to the main part, material, UI, accessory, decal, mac.drybulk, and you are going to open up custom1.png, and again, you would want to open it with paint.net, open with paint.net, and then you're going to erase template. and then whatever you wanted it to be. So I'm just gonna continue with the hello theme and I'm just gonna type out hello. Obviously that is way too big. Uh, we're just gonna keep it small like that. Say file, save as, and then you're just gonna save it as a PNG over custom one and it's gonna ask if you wanna replace it. You say yes, click okay. And then you go into the game and you go back 
back into the game, back to the trailer, say customize configuration, go to decals, and you named it hello, and there it is. It is now down here. It goes in alphabetical order, so that's why it's no longer at the top, and the first one is custom too. Um, and then it says hello, and there it is with the with the, the picture that you put, hello. And that's it. And that's everything that there is for this. Um, this is obviously was not like a, a tutorial on how to add logos and all that kind of stuff and how to do that. Um, this was, again, just how to skin the trailer. Um, so if you guys are interested in something like how I do like DNA transport logos and logos from real trucking companies and something like that, let me know in the comments. That is something that I could definitely do someday. So with yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.